Hey guys, welcome to you by Design. Today I'm going to be doing part 3 of the gaming PC build. This one is going to be the unboxing of the motherboard. The reason it's just going to be the unboxing of the motherboard and not an install is because before you install the motherboard, you have to unbox the CPU and install it onto the motherboard. So, let's get right into it here. The reason I got this uh, Z97X Gaming 3 motherboard is because it has a ton of gaming specific advantages to it. I'm going to list off some of those for you and that is going to be that it supports 4th and 5th generation Intel Core processors, which is what I ended up purchasing. It has the Creative Sound Blaster X FI M3 MB3 gaming audio suite, which is and improves the audio drastically. It's got the uh, killer E2200 gaming network platform, and it has status express support for 10 gigabytes per second data transfer, as well as M.2 for SSDs, which allows your SSD drives to transfer up to uh, 10 gigabytes per second as well. So let's get into the actual unboxing here. You can see I'm pulling these pieces out. I got the SLI connection already out. I've got the backplate already out, and now we are just kind of going through the SATA cables that it ended up coming with. Nothing too crazy cool about the SATA cables there, just basically that they are plain SATA cables. I kind of like to usually get colored SATA cables. So what I actually ended up doing is purchasing some red cables, which I didn't end up using because they ended up being too long and they looked ridiculous in it. Here you can see the manual here, which is obviously a necessity when installing a motherboard because you cannot install a motherboard without the manual. You've got the installed disk there with all the software that comes with it, including the Sound Blaster software as well. And then you've got the motherboard here itself. So you can see we're going to hop it out here. It's going to be wrapped in the anti-static bag, which is a good thing because we don't want to ruin our stuff. And I've, I've never actually had, I've, I've made, this is going to be my third gaming PC that I've built. I've never had any stuff damaged by uh, electric shock or static or whatever you want to call it. And I don't know if it is as easy to do now as it used to be in the, in the past. So I think they've basically built technology a little bit more resilient to it. But that said, I still don't take any chances. And maybe that's why I uh, don't have an issue with it. Although I don't really use the anti-static screwdrivers or anything like that. You can see right off the hop here that the motherboard is very cool looking. It actually does have an LED light with it as well. And I'll show you guys that what it looks like lit up after it's installed and I might actually do that in this video instead of later on. You can see it's got all these static cables there including the 10 gigabyte per second transfers and you can see all the backplating there and it has everything you go. It's got a bunch of USB 3.0s as well but that is going to be all there is for this unboxing here guys. I think I'll show you a quick look at what it looks like when it's all turned on and glowing. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful at all it sure would help me a lot if you guys would click that like button. Also if you guys have time you can hit that bright yellow subscribe button just in the center there. That'll notify you every time I publish a new video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.